Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. We gather this evening for evening prayer on Saturday in the 32nd week of Ordinary Time. And of course, we remember our Blessed Mother today as we, as we always do. Our hymn, which we will recite as a poem, may be found on the first page of the Psalter, week one, on page 641 of the four volume. So let us begin. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices, who wondrous things has done, in whom his world rejoices, who, for our, who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love, and still is ours today. We move to the final stanza. All praise and thanks to God the Father now be given, the Son and Spirit blessed, who reigns in hev highest heaven. Eternal triune God, whom earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be ever more. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. I have called to you, Lord, hasten to help me. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer arise before you like incense, and the raising of my hands like an evening oblation. Set, O Lord, a guard over my mouth. Keep watch at the door of my lips. Do not turn my heart to things that are wrong, to evil deeds with men who are sinners. Never allow me to share in their feasting. If a good man strikes me or reproves me, it is kindness. But the, let the oil of the wicked not anoint my head. Let my prayer be ever against their malice. Their princes were thrown down by the side of the rock. Then they understood that my words were kind. As a millstone is shattered to pieces on the ground, so the bones were strewn at the mouth of the grave. To you, Lord God, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge. Spare my soul. For the trap that they have laid for me, keep me safe. Keep me from the snares of those who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, from the rising of the sun to its settings, your name is worthy of all praise. Let our prayer come like incense before you. May the lifting up of our hands be as an evening sacrifice acceptable to you, Lord our God. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. With all my voice I cry to the Lord. With all my voice I entreat the Lord. I pour out my trouble before him. I tell him all my distress, while my spirit faints within me. But you, O Lord, know my path. On the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my right and see there is no one who takes my part. I have no means of escape, not one who cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord. I have said, you are my refuge, all I have left in the living, in the land of the living. Listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of his, this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me the just will assemble because of your goodness to me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, we humbly ask for your goodness. May you help us to hope in you and give us a share with your chosen ones in the land of the living. 
You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. The Lord Jesus humbled himself and God exalted him forever. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took on the form of a slave being born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend, and in the heavens, on, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. Brothers, I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, lest you be conceited. Just as you were once disobedient to God, and now have received mercy through, your disobe through their disobedience, so the Jews have become disobedient since God wished to show you mercy, that they too may receive mercy. God had imprisoned all in disobedience that he might have mercy on all. How deep are the riches and the wisdom and the knowledge of God! How inscrutable his judgments! How unsearchable his ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor? Who has given him anything so as to deserve return? For from him and through him and for him in all things are. To him be glory forever. Amen. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. We praise the wisdom which wrought them all as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been trustworthy in small things. Now share your master's joy. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been trustworthy in small things. Now share your master's joy. We give glory to the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And in our weakness we pray, Lord, be with your people. Holy Lord, Father all-powerful, let justice spring up on the earth. Then your people will dwell in the beauty of peace. Lord, be with your people. Let every nation come into your kingdom so that all peoples will be saved. Lord, be with your people. Let married couples live in your peace and grow in mutual love. Lord, be with your people. Reward all who have done good things to the Lord to us, Lord, and grant them eternal life. Lord, be with your people. Look with compassion on victims of hatred and war. Grant them heavenly peace. Lord, be with your people. As Jesus taught us, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Grant us, we pray, O, o Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.